Good evening from Hofstra University. I'm Lester Holt. And welcome to the first presidential debate. A quick reminder for our audience, there is no cheering, no clapping, and to the Trump supporters, no shirt, no shoes, no service. <laughs> now let's bring out the candidates. First, she's been battling pneumonia, and we hope she's feeling better tonight. It's Secretary Hillary Clinton. And finally, he's the man to blame for the bottom half of all his kids' faces. It's Republican nominee Donald Trump. Good evening, America. I am going to be so good tonight. I am going to be so calm and so presidential that all of you watching are going to cream your jeans. <laughs> Secretary Clinton, let's begin with you. Why are you a better choice than your opponent to create jobs and put money into the pockets of American workers? Well, Lester, my, my opponent's tax plan benefits the top 1% so much. It's not just trickle-down economics. It's I don't know, I guess if I had to call it something off the top of the old dome with no prep whatsoever, I, I don't know, I, I guess I'd call it trumped up trickle down economics. That's very catchy, Secretary. You, you just came up with that just now. I did, right off the stiff red cuff. Hey, jazz man, I've got a very presidential answer for this. Our jobs are fleeing this country. They're going to Mexico. They're going to China. <laughs> I will stop that. If Hillary knew how, she would have done it already. Period. End of story. I won the debate. I stayed calm, just like I promised. And it is over. Good night, Hofstra. Donald. Donald. There's still 88 minutes left. It's a 90-minute debate. <laughs> My microphone is broken. She broke it with Obama. She and Obama stole my microphone. They took it to Kenya. They took my microphone to Kenya and they broke it and now it's broken. And you hear that? It's picking up somebody sniffing here. I think it's her sniffs. She's been sniffing all night. Testing, testing. Gina, Gina. Huge Gina. Secretary Clinton, what do you think about that? I think I'm going to be president. <laughs> I mean, this man is clearly unfit to be commander in chief. Wrong. He is a bully. Shut up. He started the birther movement. You did. He says climate change is a hoax invented by China. It's pronounced China. <laughs> He hasn't released his tax returns, which means he's either not that rich, Wrong. not that charitable, Wrong. or he's never paid taxes in his life. Warmer. <laughs> Let's move on to national security. Mr. Trump, you've criticized Secretary Clinton for voting for the Iraq war, but you yourself supported the war. Wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> You're being very mean to me tonight, Coltrane. Very mean to me. <laughs> I was against the war. Ask anyone in the world named Sean Hannity. I told Sean Hannity, call Sean Hannity. You told Sean Hannity on his show, and there's proof. No, I told him in private. It was just me and Sean. Late at night, I leaned over and I whispered in his ear, Sean, I'm against the war in Iraq. And then he whispered in my ear, I'm against the war too. And the next thing I knew, I was kissing Sean Hannity. <laughs> Moving right past that, <laughs> the Iraq war is all about judgment. Secretary Clinton, do you think you have better judgment than Mr. Trump? <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes. 
Uh, of course I do. Donald Trump has terrible judgment. He makes bad decisions. He's spent his life cheating middle class laborers. Laborers like my own human father who made, uh, <laughs> I, I guess, drapes or uh, printed drapes or sold drapes or uh, something with drapes and he was relatable and I am also relatable. <laughs> Mr. Trump, same question. Why is your judgment better than Secretary Clinton? Because it is. I have the best judgment and the best temperament. She's the one with the bad temperament. She's always screaming. She's constantly lying. Her hair is crazy. Her face is completely orange, except around the eyes where it's white. And when she stops talking, her mouth looks like a tiny little butthole. Secretary Clinton, you have two minutes to respond. Oh, uh, that's okay. He can have my two. Okay, Mr. Trump, two more minutes. The thing about the blacks <laughs> is that they're killing each other. <laughs> All the blacks live on one street in Chicago. All on one street. I just read that this morning. It's called Hell Street. And they're on Hell Street, and they're all just killing each other, just like I am killing this debate. Secretary Clinton, did you have a response? Um. <laughs> not, a, uh, not a response, more of a request. Can America vote right now? Well, this has been an illuminating debate, but now it's time for our final... Alicia Machado! <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Who, who was Alicia Machado? Uh, thank you for bringing that up, Lester. Uh, <laughs> she is a strong, beautiful, political prop that I almost forgot to mention tonight, even though we already made a web video about her. Uh, Alicia Machado was Miss Universe in 1996. Where'd you find this? And Donald Trump <laughs> called her Miss Piggy. How do you know this? And Miss Housekeeping. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Mr. Trump, your response. Lester, why are we talking about this woman? We should be talking about the important issues like Rosie O'Donnell <laughs> and how she's a fat loser. And everyone agrees with me, and I just wanted to bring that up in a presidential debate right at the end, my own volition. Good idea. I did it. <laughs> Secretary Clinton, why are you crying? I'm, I'm sorry, Lester. It's, it's, this is going so well. <laughs> it's going exactly how I always dreamed. Okay, and now it's time to move on to the closing statements. Secretary Clinton, you're first. Listen, America, I get it. You hate me. Uh, you hate my voice and you hate my face. Well, here's a tip. If you never want to see my face again, elect me president, and I swear to God, I will lock myself in the Oval Office and not come out for four years. But if you don't elect me, I will continue to run for president until the day I die. And I will never die. Mr. Trump, final remarks. You know what, Lester? I was going to say something extremely rough to Hillary tonight, but I said to myself, I can't do it, I just can't do it. But if I had said it, it would have been a nuclear bomb. <laughs> because in the 90s, our president was a man named Bill Clinton. Not many people know this, but that man is her husband. <laughs> and in 1998, get this, he had an affair. It's true, my investigators are looking into it right now. It was a woman, was a woman named Monica, very heavy. I don't have her last name yet, but when I get it, I'm going to set my alarm for 3.20 a.m. I go sit on my golden toilet bowl and tweet about it until completion. Oh, my God. Just, just to remind everyone at home, this was the presidential debate. Any final words? Live, Live from, from New York, York it's Saturday, Saturday night! night.